AI search is here. It's not the future, it's now. So in this video, I'll share the key things that you should know about AI search. What are some actions that you can do to better prepare for this new search experience? And also answer some of your common questions. Now let's go. First thing, what are the key difference between AI search and traditional search? In traditional search, you type in a keyword in the search box like on Google, Bing, and then you will scroll through all the top search results to find an answer. While in AI power search, AI will try to understand the intent of your search queries, then gather different sources from the web, synthesize and summarize the information for you, and give you the answer directly. If the answer is not what you're looking for, you can ask more follow-up questions giving more specific context and get your results. So this is a completely different search experience. AI is literally helping you to digest all the information it got and give you a direct response. And these types of AI power search engines, or you can call them answer engines, are on the rise because of different AI models. Currently, we have the Google AI overviews as part of its search generative experience, aka SGE. So for some of the search queries, an AI overview, which is an AI-generated summary, will be triggered on top of the traditional organic results. And also other AI search engines like Copilot, Perplexity AI, AI, Find, new AI search engines, etc. all provide similar search experience. So as a marketer, keep yourself open and I highly recommend you to try all these AI power search engines because the more you try them, the better you will understand them. And by the way, do check out my other video about perplexity AI if you want to learn more about these AI power search engines. It's super smart. Before we know how to optimize and get ourselves prepared for AI search, we must understand how it works. So basically, there are two key components that comes into play. First, NLP, natural language processing, is used to process the query to extract the search intent and context. And second, LLMs, large language models. And then these understanding or information is third passed into large language models like GPT, Gemini, Clock to generate a concise and contextual response by synthesizing all the data sources or its training data. So once you understand this, you will know improving the contextual relevance and using natural language is so important to optimize for AI search. Now you may ask if traditional SEO is that? No, it's not that. In fact, most of the traditional SEO tactics like link building, use of keywords, on-page SEO, off-page SEO are all still relevant and important as well. These AI models will still rely on the traditional search results to synthesize information. Because if you understand how these AI model works, they need data, they need signals. So you still do what it works for you today to make your site content relevant to the search query and for the AI models to pick up. So what's more important is how how we can optimize the site content to make it also work for these AI power search engines or search experience. The first tip here is to use more natural language and make it more conversational, just like your content is directly answering the question from the users. So if your content is more optimized for these natural language processing model to understand the context and intent better. And also keep in mind evergreen content creation best practice still apply, like using short, simple sentences without complex sentence structure whenever possible avoiding any industry-specific jargon so the NLP models can better understand the context behind and better match to the search query. Be more specific and get to the point first before you elaborate your content further. For example, like these questions, how to start running as a beginner. So one of the sources, you can see it use conversational language and have an FAQ section to answer commonly asked questions. It uses simple language, short sentences, so each paragraph is very precise. It also varies structured using bullet points, which I'll also talk more about later in this video. Another tip is to improve the contextual relevance. So I always emphasize that the feature search or Google search is no longer only simply matching keywords, but more about the context that match the search intent. So definitely use more long tail keywords, thematic keywords, or LSI keywords that are conceptually relevant keywords. For example, for a piece of content about meditation for beginners, long tail keywords can be meditation techniques for beginners, morning meditation routine, daily meditation practices. While for thematic keywords or LSI keywords, they can be mindfulness, breathing exercise, inner peace, focus. So all these are keywords to help to improve the context for AI. And besides all these keywords, make sure your content can fulfill the search intent for the user. And if you don't know what is the search intent, I always recommend just do a simple search on Google to grab a sense about the content from the top ranked results, what are the topics that they cover, 
or you can even use these AI-powered search engines to see what results that you can get. The more comprehensive content that you can give, the better for AI search because it means you're providing more values and expertise to the user compared with thin content. So always do comprehensive content rather than thin content. Your content can have a higher chance to fulfill the searcher's intent because you're covering not only the answer, but more than that from related topics. And if you think about it, this is actually the same case on how we optimize for traditional SEO today. And that's why you can see keywords are still relevant and important, but the role is changing. It's no longer simply exact keyword matching. It's more about understanding the relationship between keywords and incorporating them strategically in the content to improve the overall context. So you should focus more on the context with use of different relevant keywords and fulfilling the user search intent like AI search does. I also have covered this with more specific example in my other videos, so make sure to check it out. Another key area is to establish authority in your niche. So if you have a brand, that means your brand is being seen as the authority or experts in your industry. Because for most of the AI search engines like Google SGE, it usually prioritizes data source from authoritative sources, which means unless there are no relevant data sources for the search query, the AI search engines will always synthesize data from reliable and reputable sources. For example, if I am a fitness coach, then try to build more content with your unique insights and experience in different fitness topics so you can be seen more as the authoritative source. And not just for your own websites or your other web properties, but also brand mentions on third-party media news publisher with PRs. So these can greatly increase the chance of being referenced by the AI as the source. Because again, Google and all these search engines want to make sure search quality. Publishers like Forbes or New York Times are definitely great, but don't stress out if you can't get these top tiers. Think about any reputable associations or organizations in your industry and try to partner with them, perhaps offer a free guest post to contribute your expert insight on their website, or offer to contribute to their research reports, being an active member where to get brand mentions on their website. So there are really lots of ways that you can do it. Another important thing is to stop building brand visibility on different key social platforms like LinkedIn, YouTube, medium if you haven't done yet. From what I found, these social platforms are often being used as source because they are considered reliable and safe sources. If you have a masterpiece of content or insights, try to repurpose them into other social platforms so you can increase the chance of your site is being seen in the AI generated summary. And particularly, I recommend YouTube, not only because it's under Google, so the video content is often used as a source, but also from other AI search engines like Perplex and fine. I know it's a lot of hard work for YouTube, but I can see it's a quick way to build up the authority because it's definitely a go-to source for AI when it comes to video content. Now also take note of user experience. So user experience is actually nothing new for search optimization, and they will continue to be important signals for AI search as well. And some of them are particularly important. First one is rich media because rich media not only make the content more engaging to the users, but help to add more content for AI to also increase increase the chance of your brand visibility from those AI-generated response. So make sure to add more videos, charts, images, unique graphics to help explain the topic more in depth. Another thing is structured formatting. Just you can see from the previous example, try to make your content more structured for both users and AI to understand the content. For example, use more bullet point format, number list format, list post format, use of table to present information, including a table of content, so all these can make the content more structured for the AI models to understand. You can even take a step further to add structured schema markups, which are some set of codings that are purely for machines to better understand your page content. I will include some links in the description so you can learn more. Besides these UX elements, also keep a fast loading space and to make sure it's mobile friendly because even if it's AI power search, the same rules still apply. They are good signals for quality and trustworthy sites. Check out my other video and I will also include some tools links so you can check this matrix yourself. 
So, should you still optimize for Google? My short answer is yes, but I would emphasize that we should all have the mindset shift to diversify the search optimization efforts beyond just Google. Although currently Google is still the biggest source of traffic to brands, I believe that is changing because imagine more of these kind of AI powered search engines coming and users' behavior is starting to shift. Google dominance in search would not be as much as it is now. And in fact, Bing is also taking up the space and all these advancement in GPT models, Copilot will only get smarter and so will all the AI search engine as well. I hope it's just too early to say that, but who knows because AI is changing really, really fast now. So as marketers or brand owners, you should diversify the efforts and the risk for your business. One thing that I highly suggest you to do is start checking how your brands are showing up on these AI powered engines and see if the response align with what your brands really are what are the sources that they use and study them. Why they use these sources? Is it because the site authority is higher? Is it because it is from a reputable media? Is it because that's a well-known organization in your industry? So try to study these sources and refine your strategy by taking some of the actions that I've mentioned in this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button so you will see more content like this and I really appreciate your support. And before you go, make sure you check out my other video on how to optimize blog posts for search. In that video, I cover more in-depth on the contextual relevance and other on-page SEO tactics that I've mentioned in this video. See you soon.